Welcome back to another Google AdMob Developer tutorial. My name is Justin Malandrucolo, and today I'm going to show you how to implement a native ad on Android. Topics in this video will cover what a native ad is, designing a native ad view, requesting a native ad, listening to native ad event callbacks, displaying a native ad, and testing the implementation. A native ad is an ad with assets displayed to users through UI components native to the Android platform. Native ads come with ad components such as a headline, main image, icon, and others that the developer is responsible for designing. Some of these components are required for display and some are recommended. For example, the ad badge and call to action button are required, while the star rating is recommended. Now that we've established what a native ad is, let's dive into how we can design one in Android Studio. Native ads are designed from scratch to match the look and feel of your app. For this video, I've designed the layout in an XML file. The native ad view is the root view of the layout. Within this view, include elements like text view for the headline and image view for the ad icon and main image. The media view is a view from the Google Mobile Ads SDK that displays the main media asset, which can be either a video or an image. The call to action button encourages users to take action on your ad. Each element in the XML file maps to a corresponding native ad component. That looks good to me. Now let's request a native ad. Request a native ad by creating an ad loader, which has its own builder specifying the context and the ad unit ID. Use the with native ad options method to make additional customizations such as the placement of the ad choices icon. Use for native ad to register a listener to be called when the native ad object is loaded. After building the ad loader, request a single native ad with load ad. Now that we know how to request a native ad, let's define how our app should react to different ad events. You can listen for a number of events in the native ads lifecycle, including, but not limited to, impression events and ad click events. In code, use the with ad listener method to set up an ad listener for the ad loader. This code sets up a listener to monitor the lifecycle of a native ad, from loading to displaying and handling interactions, as well as any potential errors. With the listener now set up, we're ready to display our native ad. After receiving the native ad instance, implement a way to display its assets on screen. First, remove all old views from your native views parent to ensure a clean layout. Next, inflate your native ad view and add it to the view hierarchy. Now it's time to populate the ad view with the assets from the loaded native ad object. Starting with the headline view, Map the asset view property to the corresponding view. Then use the native ad's headline value to populate your text view's text property. Repeat the process for the other assets in the native ad using additional view objects. For recommended assets that may not have data, hide or show them accordingly. Another important asset is the media view. Set the media view along with your other assets before registering the native ad object. To check if your media content contains a video, use the Has Video Content API. Use the video controller provided by the media view to set up video events. After you've configured all your ad assets, call the native ad views set native ad method to register the native ad object. Make sure to register the native ad last after all other assets are registered. This is to ensure proper impression and click tracking. Now that we've configured our native ad, let's run our app to make sure everything is working as intended. I've got my sample demo application ready to load and display a native ad. In my code, I've initialized the Google Mobile Ads SDK prior to making any ad requests. I'm using a test ad unit ID provided by AdMob as a proof of concept for my implementation. By default, the SDK provides the native ad validator 
for test ads to help you catch policy violations before you release your app. It automatically identifies certain policy violations in your app and notifies you through the app's UI. It appears I have an issue with how I designed my native ad. For this example, my media view is too small. I set the height to 100, but for videos, a minimum size of 120 by 120 is required. After adjusting the size of my XML and relaunching my app, the validator confirms my ad is now compliant. Now that we've resolved my design issue, another testing tool is Ad Inspector. Use it to confirm details of your ad request and to troubleshoot any fill issues. See our Ad Inspector video series for more details. Today, we defined what a native ad is, designed a native ad view, and requested a native ad. We also implemented a listener for native ad events and displayed a native ad on screen. We then tested our code to verify it's working as intended. We hope the video was helpful for you. Feel free to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. And remember to subscribe to AppMob for more technical content.